Hey guys, I'm Tahura. Welcome back to my channel. This is a place where you get really informative and useful videos for you so that you can upgrade yourself. So today is a part two of um, video editing tutorial on Active Presenter software. If you haven't checked out the part one, I will leave a link in the eye icon above. You better check out that video before you proceed with this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel so that you can be a part of this family. And without wasting a single time, I'm going to jump straight into the video. But let me give you a glimpse of what you're going to learn in today's video. I have already launched the software and I don't need these text boxes so I'm going to go ahead and remove them. The first step I want to do is I want to create a background image. I will go ahead, uh, click on slides, go on edit background image. This is the place where I'm going to create any kind of background image that I want. Okay, so I want to add an image. So I have an option of insert image. I'm going to go ahead and add this icon of active presenter also I want to type some text so I have the option over here there you go I just need to select the area and type in my text and there you go this looks better also, I want to add one more image. So again, I'm going to go and insert image and add this image. Yeah. Okay. I want to blur this image. So I have the option of blur right over here. I just need to select the area which I need to blur. And I can set the blur level. So I'm going to increase the blur level right up to 10. That's it. I'm happy with this background image. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. So this is how the background image looks. Remember this background image is superimposed onto the slide. It is not going to change. You cannot edit it. You cannot just edit it. Okay. This is the timeline as you already know. If you've watched video one, you'd understand what this timeline is and what significance it plays in editing the video. I want to go ahead and add certain objects, uh, shapes to be precise. Let me add this shape and I want to add some words within this shape. And uh, so let me add the first word as learn. This is the timeline associated with the object learn. I want learn to appear for a short duration of time. So I'm going to constrict it. I want one more of such objects. So I'm just going to control C and control V. So I have one more, but this should appear after learn appears. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this. I want to reduce the size a bit. make this 24 I want to add one more of such object so, and I want to edit this now so it was learn amazing I want to write here edits okay again I'm going to copy it and I will change the word to remember I've already written learn amazing edits next I want to write create mind blowing illustrations So I'll just show you a glimpse of what's happening over here. I'll play this video now. Learn amazing edits, create mind blowing illustrations. So this is the idea behind making this slide. All right, just going to shorten this. Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and add some effects to each of these objects. 
So I'm going to go in animation, entrance effect, I'll keep it as zoom in, and exit effect would be fly out, and the effect option would be to the right. Okay, I'm going to apply the same effect on each and every object. So this would be zoom in, and the exact effect would be to fly out with the effect option to right. Let's have a look at how this looks. I'm going to hit the play button. Okay. All right. So the next step is I want to add a photo. I will go in uh, annotations. I have the option of photo right over here. I'm going to click and type in okay I'm going to change the font and the font size okay I also want to apply some effect onto this photo so I'm going to go in animations and I'm going to apply the effect of pulse as you can see it has been added to the timeline and I want it to have multiple pulsations so I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat it to let me make it 15 and okay I can extend this right up till the end of the slide okay I actually wanted to add a transition to the slide let me add cover with the effect from bottom so let's check it out how it looks there you go Okay, it looks fine to me. So now comes the part where I show you how you need to record the screen and added the record screen into the video. So you need to go on home and there's a record screen option right on top. You need to hit on record video. Okay, so as you can see, you need to first select the area or the screen area that you need to record. I'm going to do just that. And you can have your webcam on or off, your audio on and off, totally dependent on you. And you simply need to hit the record button in order to start recording the screen. Now, since I've already recorded a screen before, I'm simply going to add the video into the timeline. But trust me, once you hit this record button, it's a very simple affair. Your screen gets recorded and gets automatically added into the slide. Okay, like I already mentioned before that I've recorded the screen, so I'm simply going to add it into this video. For that, I'm going to create a new slide. So I'm going to go on slide and I'm going to add a new slide. Once I'm done with that, I need to import the video. So I'm going to go in, um, in annotations, insert video from file, select the video and it, it gets added. I'll just adjust this a bit okay the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this video on the timeline and I would want to mute it just in case if it captured any kind of sounds I want to mute that after doing that I would want to record a voice over to whatever is being displayed so let me go ahead and record a voice over for this video okay I'm going to show you a thing or two about active presenter so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a Google search on Active Presenter so that you can see uh, how the website looks and what are its features. So this is a page which is going to show you the various features Active Presenter has. I'm just going to scroll down and show you three features on screen recording which include smart capture, full motion recording and webcam recording. Along with that, you have microphone and speaker recording, smart annotation and lossless quality as well. 
there you go i have already recorded my audio so i'm satisfied with this kind of a voice over next thing i'm going to show you how to insert zoom and pan that's right i'm going to select uh, the exact place where i want to execute a zoom and pan so this is the place where i want to execute a zoom and pan i'm going to go ahead and click on zoom and pan i'm going to select the area where i need to zoom and pan okay this much is my area fine i can just make it a big little big okay fine after this i want to zoom and pan on uh, this part so again i'm going to just after this ends i'm going to just add one more zoom and pan and again i'm just going to minimize this a bit add this right over here and after this ends again i need one more zoom and pan so i'll just go ahead and add one more there you have it okay so let, let's just have a look how this how this turns out to be three features on screen recording which include smart capture full motion recording and webcam recording there you go it looks pretty good i need to resume the screen size back to normal so for that i will have to again insert a zoom and pan and this time to the entire screen let's see how this looks now three features on screen recording which include smart capture full motion recording and webcam recording along with that you have microphone and speaker recording smart annotation and lossless quality as well there you go suppose you want to add captions then you can do so you have an option right at the top you just need to click over here and add the captions right at the bottom so guys as you have seen i've already added the caption in small parts like you can see over here okay guys uh, the final step that i would like to show you is how to add uh, a music to your video so i'm going to add mu music to the first slide um, I just have to go on annotations and audio from file um, and just add it right over here. I'm going to push it till the start. It's pretty long. It's a pretty long music. I'm just going to shorten it up. There you have it. okay after having added the music and after reducing the voice a bit uh, i'm just going to play this video now okay so this is done now now you need to simply export the video so I can export this in the form of video or HTML slideshow, PDF document, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I'm just going to, um, so sorry, export in the form of video. So this rendering option is actually very important. Since you've used Zoom and Pan, you've used audio, and you've used uh, captions, you need to tick all these. Uh, remember, if you want the closed captions uh, to be embedded within the video so you need to tick on this option or if you want the subtitles to be in the form of um, you know a soft copy uh, you'll get a separate dot srt file you can take whichever you want to and uh, make sure that the video size is 150 quality is 100 uh, make sure the format is avi to get hd videos okay and i will export it it's going to take some time for processing, a few minutes maybe, so you have to wait patiently. Okay, the file has been exported successfully, so I'll just go ahead and view it. And there it is.
Okay, I'm going to show you a thing or two about Active Presenter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a Google search on Active Presenter so that you can see uh, how the website looks and what are its features. So this is a page which is going to show you the various features Active Presenter has. I'm just going to scroll down and show you three features on screen recording which include smart capture, full motion recording and webcam recording. Along with that, you have microphone and speaker recording, smart annotation and lossless quality as well.